Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Mega Bloks review for you today. Uh, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Party Wagon. And this is from the line that basically has to do with the 87 Turtles. They kind of have three Ninja Turtle lines going right now. They have one for the Classic 87 Turtles. They have one for the current cartoon. And then they have almost like a Duplo version of the current cartoon for younger kids. Bigger Turtles, less articulation, but the sets are less intricate. Uh, they used to have a line for the Out of the Shadows movie that came out, but that kind of came and went because the movie kind of came and went. But I have really been appreciating the classic 87 Turtles sets. That's kind of my sweet spot. That's what I grew up with, so I kind of gravitate towards that. Not to say that the sets for the current cartoon are bad, because they're not. I've seen a couple of them. They look really good. Uh, this is just something that, like I said, speaks to me a little bit more. And when I saw this set... I knew I had to have it. I've been eyeing it for a while, but I actually just got it for my birthday. So I decided to share it with you guys. Uh, but this is the front of the box. As you can see here, not a lot going on on the top. Certainly nothing on the bottom. Uh, the sides don't really have a lot going on either. So I'll show you the back here. And it kind of shows you the three figures, the turtle van itself. Now they call it the party wagon because I think the original toy was called the party wagon. But on the show they just always called it the turtle van. Here on the back, you can see some of the other sets. They have this giant Krang set, which I also have. That's really fantastic. That uh, giant robot build for Krang is pretty well done. And then you have all these little, um, I don't know, call them statue sets, but they're basically like they come with little display stands and they have these painted little like comic scene pieces that you can put in the background just as kind of a backdrop to make almost like a little diorama. But they have like a rock city with some foot soldiers. They have the four turtles that come singly. And then they have Bebop with some foot soldiers. There's also, I believe, a giant Technodrome set, which is really massive. Uh, we've also seen some newer sets with um, the Samurai Leo and the Mousers that I reviewed previously. And I think there's a Donatello and a rock soldier set as well. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. I think Mega Bloks is really doing a nice job. Uh... Lego did a great job as well, but something about these figures that I just think is really cool. Now, you can see that there's a window here. Obviously, I've already opened this set, but the window normally shows off the three figures that you get. The Michelangelo, the April, and the Shredder. So, we'll be taking a look at all that. So, I'm going to go ahead, move the box out of the way, and we'll dive into the set. So, here's the set fully assembled out of the box. You have the uh, party wagon slash turtle van. Then you have these three figures, April shredder and michelangelo take a look at the three figures first uh april o'neill looks pretty good she's wearing her classic uh yellow jumpsuit that she wears in the 87 cartoon show she has a turtle communicator which is a pretty excellent accessory as well as a news camera for these figures they all have a little stand that they come with you can go ahead and take it off of there uh I'll just go over the articulation ones because they're pretty much all the same. You have a ball joint, although it's kind of limited here in the hip. And you can actually pop it right off and you see right there how it works. So you just pop it right back on. You have 90 degrees in the knee. I don't think there's any kind of like boot swivel or anything like that. You do have a waist swivel. You have a hinge up and down as well as move around for the shoulder. And then you have kind of a... Almost like a figure arts kind of joint for the elbow where it can move, but it can also swivel. And then you have like standard kind of Lego looking hands that can swivel around. So pretty excellent articulation. Oh, I'm sorry. And the head's on a ball joint as well. So pretty excellent articulation for figures this tiny. And I think they did a good job with like the facial representation. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it's perfectly acceptable. I don't see any problem. So pretty excellent little figure. And as far as I know, this is the only way to get a Shredder and April figure. Michelangelo can be obtained via the individual packs. But as far as I know, this is the only way to get these two. So Shredder looks pretty good. I think the shoulder gauntlets are done a little weird. I would have rather they were somehow connected to the middle set well i guess on the show he does kind of have them like this so he's got the same kind of articulation in the hands and the arms and the elbows and everything he's got this like weird belt which looks like it can hold 
some sword accessories if you see right there he doesn't come with anything I'll take him off the base so he's got these armor pieces which are all clip on you could take them off if you wanted to but I'm not gonna do that you can see how they clip on just around the ankles so he's got these two elbow yeah elbow their knee pads or shin guards I guess really and then he's got this kind of uh, forearm gauntlet with the claws or spikes on the end. And I really like the the helmet, I think, is done well. It looks very much like the classic Shredder. His eyes are a little weird. I'm not sure why he just has those two uh, pin brown eyes, just like little dots like that. But otherwise, I like the mask. I like the helmet. The cape is nicely done. The cape is cloth. You can see it moves around a little bit, so it has a little bit of give there. I like that. So, like I said, he's not terrible by any means, but he's not perfect. I think the shoulder pads are a little weird, and I think the eyes are a little weird. But for the most part, I like him a lot. And I will pop him back on his base and put him back here. Uh, Michelangelo, pretty solid. I think they did a great job. He's got these nunchucks. As you can see, just a couple of plastic chains keeping these two plastic pieces together. Now, it looks like he can hold them on the back. I think it would be very tight to try to smash these in there. I'm sure you can probably do it, but I'm not going to because you'd stretch out this bit of rubber because the, the belts are just kind of like a, not flimsy, but just a loose kind of rubbery material, almost like a rubber band, but like a little bit higher quality. And uh, I'm sure you could probably put, maybe if you put one of the nunchuck like pieces in each one you could fit one comfortably on the back but i think to try to put both on his back would really be tight and would really stretch them out so it's kind of a bummer that it doesn't really i mean i guess just for argument's sake we'll take a look i'll just put one in to see how it goes so that's already fairly tight all right let's just see it's actually a little bit looser than I expected, and it's got a lot more give than I expected, so I was wrong. There you go. I'm glad I tried it. It's actually not that bad. They're kind of comically large to be on his back, but it actually works, so I'm glad I was. I proved myself wrong. Now let's see what happens if we take it out. Yeah, it's really not stretched out that bad. All right, well, there you go. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. I'm glad it works. And they fit in his hands very easily. And these pieces are all uh, able to be taken off, I believe. Well, I'm not going to do it, but I, I know these can move around. These rubber kind of bands around the elbows and, and wrists can be moved. I thought the one around the head could be as well, but I kind of don't think it can now. But it's the same articulation, heads on a ball joint, same shoulders, wrists, elbows, hip joints, they're all the same. Uh, this one actually does have ankle movement. I guess actually, I am wrong, I apologize, but I keep proving myself wrong in this review. Uh, the hip joints are a little different than April and Shredder. Whereas those, you could kind of just pop right off. You can see that these are kind of connected differently so that they can move. See how it's kind of a different joint? It's kind of like the uh, shoulder joint. It's more like the shoulder joint in the hips. But it works. I mean, it, it works well. The knee joints will look great. I love that there's ankle articulation. So just overall, I think these little turtle figures are pretty fantastic. And the shells are made of die-cast metal just as it advertises on the packaging. So very cool. I love these little figures. I think it's kind of my favorite part of this whole line is the turtle figures because they've done such a great job with them as far as just how good they look and the amount of articulation and the metal shells are a nice touch. They weren't needed, but I think they're a nice touch. So I love these little turtle figures. They're really a lot of fun. So I'm going to put them off to the side for now, and we're going to take a closer look at the turtle van itself. Oh, the other thing I want to show us off real quick. You have these extra accessories. You just have this little piece of pizza, which has a little circle there, so you can put it in someone's hand. And then you have one of these extra bombs. Now, there are some bombs in the turtle van, which we'll take a look at in a minute. 
but you do get an extra one. I don't know if that's just a mistake and they just give you an extra one because sometimes with, you know, construction sets, you get extra pieces. But I just wanted to show it off. Mine has a third bomb. So here is the front, and this looks fantastic. They got the face on the bottom perfect. This is actually just one of the figure stands, but painted green and put on the front, just like it has on the original cartoon. You have these two gun sections here in the front, and they just clip in very easily right there. Just a little clip like that. So you can move them up and down very easily. You can come around to the back. You have a little... TMNT 1987 license plate there which is very cool underneath pretty basic just have your wheels spin very easily there so the cool thing about this um, you can take the whole roof off so I guess I'll show that off first it all it comes off as one solid piece just like that so if I'm gonna put that off to the side you can also take this roof off Oop, and I just knocked that off so let me take that off. I'm not really sure what this or this or this are supposed to be. I'm guessing some kind of maybe radar or siren or something. I'm not 100% sure what that's supposed to be. But taking a look on the inside here, you can see there's a steering wheel in the front. The front is very basic. There's really not much to it beside the steering wheel. But you could easily fit two figures in there, maybe even three if you wanted to really cram them in. And then, of course, you have these little doors on the front. And you have one of those on both sides. Uh, this door opens out, and then you have this, uh, like, gun. Actually, I guess that's what the missile is supposed to go in. So there you go. They probably give you one for this, and then there's two extras inside, which we'll get to in a moment. So I'm guessing you press this right here, press it down, and it fires the missile. So it fires pretty well, I have to say. It's all friction-based. You just you put it in, and the friction keeps it in place, and then when you push this down, it forces it back out. But that thing really fires. That really does shoot off pretty well. I have to say. Uh, you can pull this down and then we'll bring in Michelangelo. He can sit here. You just kind of have to widen his legs a little bit. All right, come on, buddy. Help me out here. So you can sit him on this chair and then you put the gun up. Unfortunately, you can't really move it except for this central space. And let me get in there so I can show you what I'm talking about. You can see the clip right here. It really can just move up and down there. So you could probably affix his hands to these handles if you wanted to, but I can't. I would like to keep it here and then tilt this up a little bit, but it unfortunately doesn't really work like that. But he can sit there. I'm going to take him off and push this back in. Now the only problem is if you have him sitting there and it's like this, you can't close the door. You can only close the door when it's all the way in, like that. The other thing to note, um, you can't really see it all that bad. The directions show that this is one solid plate underneath these little uh, hump part pieces. But you can see that there's actually four 2x8 uh, tiles, or I guess 2x6. So for some reason they gave me four 2x6 tiles instead of one large 8x6 plate. I looked all through the directions. I thought maybe I used it somewhere I wasn't supposed to, and these were supposed to go somewhere. I looked through all the directions. I did not see it. So I don't know if it was a mistake or whatever. I mean, it worked out because I had the equivalent of the pieces that I need, and it doesn't really affect too much going on with the set. But at least I wanted to bring it up because I don't know if that's happened to anybody else or if it's just mine, it's just, it's a little weird. I don't know. Uh, this one can just come straight down and you can have someone stand over here, which I know in the original show, that is how it worked. I think Leonardo stood over here with his sword and attacked people as they came by. And they even have, you know, pegs here so you can put their feet in to secure them. So that looks pretty good. And then you can come around to the back 
and both of these doors open and you can see there's a little place to store a uh, skateboard which the figures can easily affix to as well oops it doesn't want to stay on there for some reason hmm I must just have the angle weird well in any case I'll just put them on there one time but he can ride a skateboard uh, if you take a look on the inside you can see there is kind of a radar there is a screen here with ace duck some random kind of keyboard uh, you know keys to, pu to push and then down here let me see if I can shine some light in here it says foot soldier shredder krang rock soldier so I don't know if it's like they are keeping inventory of their villains or they can say that those are the three people that are on the radar coming in. They're calling Ace Duck for backup. I don't know. But I think it's neat. Over here on this side, you just have some extra bombs for the missile launcher. So it's pretty cool. I've always wanted a turtle van toy that had the doors on both sides. Because the original toy did not have that. It only the original toy only had this door open on the side with the gun and then I think there was like a little piece down here that dropped and rolled out some missiles or some bombs uh, but I've they've never made a turtle van toy and I think with the original turtle van toy the whole roof just bent backwards so you could load the figures in and then it closed I think when you opened the lid that's what made the door spring open it was spring activated but on the show, they definitely had uh, openings on both sides, and one opened that way, and one did open this way. And they did also have doors on the back that they could go in and out. Why is that? Oh, that's not pushed down all the way. I was wondering why I looked a little cockeyed. So I really appreciate that. I think it's nice to finally get as close to a screen accurate uh, turtle van as we're gonna get I think because the original toy was not very screen accurate but this one is and it, it really uh, makes me happy to finally have a representation of the original turtle van or party wagon whatever you want to call it that's actually faithful to the cartoon it has the openings on both sides it has the opening in the back uh, I'll just go ahead you can easily put figures in the front here let me bend April at the knees so she can sit down and she can drive the turtle van now unfortunately there's nowhere to peg them in inside they just kind of sit here so there's no way to like peg her in place or or not i mean with these figures with lego minifigures they have spots on their butt so that you can actually you know fix them to the plates these figures don't have anything like that so you just kind of have to prop her up as best you can and then you can go ahead and put this roof piece back on. There we go. But yeah, the turtle van you're left with looks great. I think it's fantastic. You can see the figure riding inside there. You could easily fit two, possibly, I would say comfortably two. If you really want to try to cram a third in there, maybe, but comfortably two. And there's plenty of room inside the uh, back compartment to fit I would say probably four or five maybe even six figures depending on how you position them in there so I like this a lot I think they did a great job the figures included are very nice I'll bring the box back in for a backdrop <laughs> but yeah it's a great it's a great set I think it retails for around $50 um, if you could find it on sale, I know Toys R Us has Mega Bloks sales all the time. Like buy one, get one half off. Or sometimes they just have like 30% off or 40% off everything. So you could definitely get a decent sale and pick this thing up for probably around $30. I think I even saw it on Amazon for somewhere in the area of $25 or $30. So you can definitely get a hold of this guy on a good sale. And I definitely think this set, if you could find it for $30, that's a steal. I think that's a great deal. If you've been collecting any of the Turtle Mega Block sets, this is definitely one of the best ones in my opinion. It's a excellent representation of the Party Wagon slash Turtle Van. Very cartoon screen accurate. Has the openings on both sides. Has the doors on the back, but you can also remove the roof for easy access. You can fit two figures easily in the front. It's the only way to get a Shredder and April figure if that's what you're looking for. 
um, yeah, I really have nothing bad to say about this. It's Like I said, the only thing that I thought was weird was the fact that it kind of gave me the weird plates here on the on the door. But it works out because, you know, it's at least the plates they gave me equivalent to the size so it still fits correctly and nothing's bad there. It's just slightly less firm and solid because it's four plates instead of one. But it works, you know what I mean? And I'm hoping that's just mine. I'm hoping they're not all like that. But if you have this set and you have the same thing going on that I do, please let me know in the comments because I'm very interested to see if mine was just a mistake. Maybe mine just got packed wrong or maybe it happened to a bunch. But it, again, it's not that big a deal. It still works. It still looks great. And I really love this set. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the classic party wagon from TMNT Megablocks. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.